Hey team, just jumping in to do a little bit of troubleshooting on Tamara's uh, contest flow. Um, she has found some issues with it, so i am just like to just show you guys the sort of things that I would do to troubleshoot to see why things aren't working. Now, I'm not actually sure which one it is, so I'm just going to take a punt here. It might be one of these... Uh, one of these contest launches that she's trying to do here. So I'm just going to click on this particular one, go through and just see what's going on here. So we're going to go through and edit and have a look at the first part of the flow. So let's have a look when it loads. All right, so we're all good here. Uh, do you want to go on the draw to win a complete Royal Thrones Room luxury package for your next wedding party or corporate event? Yes, please. Um, and it opens and agrees to TNCs. That's all good. That looks good so far. Um, so here, great. Do you see the T's? And C's. I know it's a bit formal, but I have to ask. Do you agree to? Um, 14th of February. So that all looks good there. Uh, I agree. That should take them to a tag that they agree to T's and C's. Perfect. And then we've got the image here, for whatever reason, uh, mobile phone or coffee, okay. Um, is this your correct email address? Okay, it must be a valid email address. So if we go into edit flow up here, um, I can just double check that that's the email tab button. Email, perfect. All good. Right. And perform action, which is subscribe to RTO Lux contest so that all looks actually really good there that's fine let's go into automation let's go into sequences because they're going to subscribe to um, the Lux contest which is this one here Lux contest which means that congratulations you're entered uh, yes please yes to gift and what I'd probably do here, um, this is a lot of text, I'd probably break this up a little bit. Um, so I would love this, this is cool, uh, to celebrate launch of Royal Throne Rooms, we're offering 50% of bookings made before February the 14th, 2020. So I would do a little gap in here because that's pretty full text there. Um, I would do like a little emoji maybe here. That's a um, um, crown to the throne. There we go. That might be cute. Uh, break it up again. And make another gap here. a quick um, button here which is all good if they click yes please um, yes to discount we go to the next message now the only reason why you would have a um, quick reply here um, that disappears afterwards I'd probably do a button as opposed to a quick reply so if they click yes please the button disappears um, you tend to do that if there's two options so if you wanted to do a yes please no thanks um, and the no thanks would be literally uh, all cool hope you know wish you luck in the contest so let's go uh, no thanks right. and then we'll send another message saying Same here.
and then you'd add a button here that takes them back to Facebook. Like, um, and that one there would open, direct them back to the Facebook page here. Come in action, make sure you tag everything. Tag. do with this one here is I'll swap those buttons around. Oh yeah, yes please, no thanks, perfect. And then the yes please goes to awesome. Right, I would have probably taken this to the website here, but um, anyway, let's publish. Okay, so what we're going to do is go back to the growth tool. Uh, what's this one here? Preview. Test the bot. Perfect, so that's good, we know it works well. So what we need to do is go back and grab the code. So I'm gonna copy this to clipboard, go into the ad account, and go into advanced JSON setup here, edit it, all the way up to the outside here, copy, paste it in. Save and finish. It's probably going to set a character limit to actually too much. Ah, that's the problem. Okay, so let's go back into the growth tool. Edit. And we just got to shorten this text in here. Do you want to win? Do you want to go in the draw to win a complete Royal Thrones room luxury package for your next wedding? Let's just leave it at event. Um, the reason why is in the ad copy you would say you'd, you'd hopefully have the wedding and stuff, um, wedding corporate event and so on. So let's go back, add a setup, and copy to clipboard. And then edit in here. And finish. Should be fine. So we've already got all the events that it's perfect for right there, and we're going to publish. Then we're going to take this and we're going to go more options. Oh, it depends actually if it's a different image or not on the second one. Yep, different image. So we'll go down to here. Message set up. Edit. Let's 
save and finish. Publish. And while that's doing that, let's just have a look at the original. Go share link on Facebook. Copy it. Try it another tab. Let's go apply now. Should open up a message over here. Now the issue with this, this is might not, if I click on this, right, what's going to happen is there's a possibility another message isn't going to come through. The reason why is I'm already subscribed. So if you've already subscribed to the sequence, which is what I've done when I previewed it before, it gets stuck here. So that is a really, really common mistake, just to let you know, okay? The only way to fully test this is to go in to audience over here and unsubscribe me. from the sequence. That's that one there. Right? Now I can go in and test it again properly. So literally back in here. And you'll see it'll go through now. It is working. So um, just a little bit of troubleshooting. Hope that's helped you guys sort of trying to figure things out. But quite often the biggest thing we notice is that if you can't subscribe again, so the email's not working, it's quite often because you're already subscribed to the bot. If you have any questions, make sure you go into the group and let me know.